Rithik Roshan and Kangana Ranoth's battle is the ugliest Bollywood war till date. While Kangana hogged the limelight while promoting her film, Simran, when she gave scandalous interviews about her alleged relationship with her Krish co star. Now, not just Rithik has come out in open to talk about his side of the story, his friends in the film fraternity are also expressing their opinion on the whole fiasco. After Farhan actor, Rithik's couple co-star Yami Gautam took to Facebook to express her views about the whole issue. As she requested everyone to not make it gender war. Making everything a gender issue can easily distract us from addressing alleged sexist issues that plague our society, she wrote concluding her letter. Here's a look at Yami Gautam's Facebook post, I am usually not very vocal on social media, but I am making an exception today, since as a woman, what I am seeing right now terrifies me. This is concerning the matter surrounding two of the biggest stars in our industry. I have, fortunately, had the opportunity to work with one of them. However, I am not writing this as a co-star, or even as a friend. I am writing this as a woman and a concerned citizen of the country, and I will try to get my point across as succinctly and as objectively as possible. I am no legal expert. And I am not privy to the details of the case. I know what has been reported in the media, and I am all for good, honest reporting. However, somehow, the tussle has turned into a gender war, with a certain faction of the society, having already declared the man guilty. People have presumed that, since he is a man, he must be the guilty party, since that is how it has always been. Men have oppressed women in one way or another for centuries, and it's being presumed that it is the same in this case too. And that's dangerous. Whatever happened to innocent, until proven guilty? Whatever happened to letting the law take its own course? Yes, a lot of times, at least in this country, we have taken to the streets to get justice. But that's not the case here. The police is investigating, and both the parties are privileged enough that they can represent themselves in court and fight this out legally. Sadly, our law and order is sort of classist, but let's not digress. Here is why this vilification of a man based on make-believe evidence is dangerous. If the gender cart is allowed to take precedence over facts and objectivity, it will be a serious blow to the ongoing efforts of getting women in equal standing with the opposite sex. If this baseless trial by media is allowed to continue, where one party has been presumed to be guilty, there is a good likelihood that people might lose faith in this equal rights for all movement that has picked up momentum in India only in recent years. I am not exonerating anyone here. I am also not suggesting malice by any one party. All I am saying is, let's not make it a fight between genders. Let's keep it a fight between two people who may or may not have corresponded in the past. Let the facts be unearthed and until then, let's reserve our judgments. Just because this is a fight between a man and a woman does not mean it has to be a fight between genders. Making everything a gender issue can easily distract us from addressing alleged sexist issues that plague our society.